Oh, now it's zoom, zoom, zoom. We're reviewing the Mazda 3 2016. Let's get it going. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? And welcome back to another episode of Real Review. You know me, that's where I review the cars. And it's generally cars that the regular person will buy. We're not talking about Porsches and Maseratis and Ferraris and all that. Although that is going to be coming up real soon. We're going to be doing all sorts of crazy cars because I like to change things up around here. But today we're reviewing a 2016 Mazda 3. Let's get it going. Sedan, four doors. Is it worth it? Is it too expensive? Does it suck? Let's find out. of these cars pardon me because i'm sweating buckets in this thing you know this this mazda so hot this mazda so hot it got me sweating different places boy but anyways um when we review cars like this there isn't much to expect you get me it's a four-door sedan compact car tiny as hell super super small i mean let, let's look at my knees right quick let's look at where my knee i'm not even a tall guy my knees are out there i feel like i'm in like in a clown car or something here we go we go part of my hairy ass knees but look at this i'm driving and my knees are like all up in this thing you know super small four-door car um reminds me kind of of like an old um the old lancer the mitsubishi lancer like the regular base model not even the evo just the, ba the base model um real compact little car um you can see right there you got your uh speedometer tachometer parking drive mode all that stuff your lights right there uh your you know your fuel range now one thing that i really do like about this car you know, it's really hard to see right here it's this little um it's hard to see but it's this little heads up display that it has this little console and you operate that by using this and it just feels real nice you know you're cruising you got your hand on the steering wheel like that boom 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 and you're singing along to zoom 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 because you're in your mazda 3 up into his e sorry about that guys um and you know you could just you got one hand on the steering wheel and another hand on the pause you uh you use this thing right here to control your little center console makes it real easy i love that real basic uh, automatic it's a uh, five speed and it does have the auto stick but uh, a lesson that i've learned about a lot of these cars if it's not a performance car do not use the auto stick you it's it's a waste of time it's a waste of a feature do not use this stick stick to automatic that's all i can really say about this thing um stick to your automatic right there you got the interior the interior is great it's kind of small But you know what it gets the job done it does sit somebody back there pretty good there's plenty of leg room the engine the engine that's what we're going to talk about right now the engine is a 2.0 four-cylinder sky active uh it produces around 155 horsepower you know you're talking about like honda civic numbers back in the 90s you know like a not even like a late 90s early 2000 you know honda civic ford you know we're in 2016 man there's cars making 700 horsepower four-door sedans there's no reason why something like this i know it's supposed to be affordable and i know it's, it's supposed to be you know for a certain kind of people but still, man, I, I always associate, you know, Mazda with a little bit of sporty affordability, you know. So they, I, I personally think they should have bumped this up at least to like 220, 250 at least. This 2016, y'all, you guys can't be throwing out 150 horsepower. I got, I got a scooter that makes that much horsepower. You get? Me? But for what it is, for the price, you can't get much. You can't expect much. It gets you from point A to point B like a lot of these little cheap sedans do. Um, 
and that, that's all I can really say. It's a good car. It's a great car. Uh, awesome on gas. 150, you know, you got scooter level horsepower, but you know what? For the price, you can't ask for more. You can fit people comfortably there. You know, you can do your thing while I do my thing. And that's it. Just if I pull up in my charger and I rev my engine, just look the other way. Just, just look the other way. Just don't do it. Don't do it when you're doing the zoom, zoom, zoom. You make my heart go boom, boom. Don't do it, guys. With 150 horsepower, you can't do it. Okay? I got a washing machine that does more than that. But anyways, besides that, you know me. I'm a muscle car guy. This is a good car for the price, for the money. It'll get you from point A to point B. It has a lot of creature comforts, you know. Real basic. It's not bad. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, then get the fuck out. Uh, subscribe. You know I'm going to be bringing up some badass cars, man. I'm getting tired of these little cheap-ass cars. We're going to have to bump it up. We need a Viper up in this thing. We need a Camaro up in this thing. We need a Porsche up in this thing. You better believe that I'm bringing every single one of those. All right? So if you guys like this review, stay tuned, man, because it's coming up. If you guys are, 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 you know, fighting with me, we're going to do it, man. It's going to be worth it. All right, guys? So until next time, this is Sergeant Pepper. Checking out. Well.